it's KB here, um, NYC by way of Houston. Um, so first off, just thank you guys so much for this incredible show. I mean, honestly, I loved every episode. I feel like it's such nuanced storytelling and the directing is just top notch each episode. Um, hey, yes, so, um, my question is for Millicent. Um, so tell me a little bit more about kind of the technical triumphs and challenges of showcasing these women and all of their glory and power and really kind of shifting that visual narrative of sex workers. Um, and then also, what was your favorite scene uh, to direct in episode three? Oh, Lord. <laughs> There's a lot of favorite scenes. <laughs> I mean, one of the one of the things is when I originally met with Katori, it was it, we really were focused on telling, being truthful, and humanizing these characters. So I, I actually spent time at the strip club. Did I tell you I went to strip club? I was a little traumatized. But. I was there with you. <laughs> <laughs> a little traumatized. But what what in in regards to the actual dance, I was amazed at the athleticism of them. And so we got together with the choreographer and we really, really wanted to highlight that. You know, it's that they're, they're workers that this, what they do is, yes, it's sexual, but it's freaking amazing. And so instead of what you had normally seen, like when you looked at strippers, you would look at <clears throat> like in the Sopranos or in the background and it's just naked women and just like kind of writhing. Um, and we wanted to show that they are more than that and that they're amazing and they're strong and the strength is actually reflected in their personalities and the spirit that they have and the drive to overcome. So we really wanted to show the athleticism and, and, and blow it up. And I think we succeeded in that, in that my favorite dance was when they did that drop from the ceiling head down. I was in the back of the room with the choreographer. We were screaming like little girls and high-fiving each other and running up. We were like, do that shit! It was just freaking amazing. It was crazy. But then, um, what I also love are the quiet moments. The quiet moments with the characters and getting inside and being able to. We have such an amazing cast. And to get inside their eyes and, and feel the soul and the spirit. And that was the other thing. Um, there's a couple of wonderful scenes. You know, um, the one where you find out that Mercedes has a daughter and she's having an argument. I mean, you know, Brandy really dug deep and opened herself up and you found out so much about, there's a layer. You know, when you walk into a store and order groceries, you know, you don't know what's going on in the life of that teller. And it's the same as this, you know, this woman who's a stripper, there's so much more to her than what you see that's in front of you. And, and that's truthfully what's important, you know? And, dealing with Autumn Night, she's got so many layers. She's got so much. And so she's such, she's such an interesting character. And to just get in just a little bit, you know, when you find out the pain that's involved with the loss of her child, you don't know everything that's going on, but you know the pain. And to know that there's, there's I want to know more about this character. And Uncle Clifford, my favorite scene, my favorite shot is you standing <laughs> As that big old ring is coming, can I tell you, <laughs> you're out in the middle of a field on a plantation and the AD was like, Wilson, you get to stop the ring and put your hand down and, and the driver's going to stop. And Nico's standing there, all beautiful. I'm on a little apple box sweating like crazy. There's piles of manure around me, right? <laughs> and the thing is coming and it's coming and it's coming. And the AD's like, Wilson, Wilson, Wilson. I was like, it's okay. And Nico's like, He's like, Millicent, Millicent. He goes, I'm like, it's okay. <laughs> it's like, Millicent. And I went, stop. And it stopped, woo, right in front. Can I tell you, he did not budge. And to the bottom of my heart, I thank you for trusting me. Because that oh, was, yeah. that was trust. He knew I was not going to let him get run over. And he stayed there and it stopped right in front. And it was the, it was the best moment. But what my favorite part of that scene is, is when you're talking to Corbin and you're, 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 it's the, it's the, that you're caressing him with your eyes. And it felt like there's so much more to that, there's so much depth and there's so much more texture to that relationship, just in the way that you played it and the way that you talked to him. And I loved it. 